adore these sweltering nights, don't you? I can't sleep when it's this hot. I know, and you have to get up and find something else to do. Mind you, washing the lawn furniture was never high on my list. That doesn't surprise me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, people pay good money to sweat like this in saunas. Cleans out your pores, flushes all the anger out of your system. Who are you mad at? Nobody. I feel like one with humanity. As a matter of fact, I'm even looking forward to your little uh, marriage to my mother. Why do I find that hard to believe? No, I mean it, really. At first, I know I wasn't keen on the idea, but now I see that you two are made for each other, and I plan on being the maid of honor. I hope you don't plan on causing trouble at the ceremony. What is it going to take for you to believe that I really want your marriage to be a success, huh? I don't know, Dinah. Because I still believe that you only care about yourself. Ross. Ross, are you here? Honey? That's great. Pathetic. I wouldn't talk to you either. Honey. Hi. Have you been and, uh, working this entire time? I've been worried. Yes. Well, that's good. I mean, that's that means new clients and cases and, and stuff. You want me to get you something to drink? Something cool? It's like a a furnace in here. I I've been meaning to fix that air conditioner. I guess. It's a problem tonight. You know, I'm just gonna keep on talking here, and you can just dime in whenever you feel like it. It is too hot, and I'm too tired. And you're still angry at me, aren't you? Please don't start, Blake. Well, somebody's got to, and it's obviously not gonna be you. Look, I am not in the mood for an argument tonight, thanks. We cannot go to bed until we hammer this out. Oh, yes, we can. And we had better, or we're gonna have one heck of a fight. It's hot. It's hot. Shh, shh, shh. We're gonna get out of here soon, okay? And then we're gonna go someplace cool. Like, remember when we were little and Dad took us up to Canada? Remember the waterfalls and the cool breezes? Alan Spaulding's gonna be back with the money, no, and then we're gonna go. No, okay? don't trust him, Cassie. I'm telling you. Trust that man. No, 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 no. He's gonna help us. He's no. gonna get us out. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's out to get me. He wants to get rid of me. Right, right. He's gonna get us out of the country. No, but you don't understand. He wants to leave me here to die. Tangie, exactly what did you find when you went with Cutter to Prince Room? I found. I found a lot of blood everywhere. Medication on the nightstand. It seemed like someone stole Brent right out from underneath us. Stole? You mean somebody helped him escape? Or maybe... Maybe... I still don't understand how he could have gotten away. Huh? Maybe somebody helped him. Well, sure, yeah. Why? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it, Alan? Who would help Brent? And why? Sister Tangie. I mean, she's been helping him all along. 
Now, wait, Dad, what would be your motive? If, if, if he were my brother, I'd want to get him to a hospital. I wouldn't put him in a hotel room. Yes, but he's wanted by the law, son. But, Dad, I think her priority would be her brother's health. Well, I, I, see, I do see your point. But this has got to be something that we're missing, that we're just not seeing. It's running around our noses. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's the police. Get it. Maybe. Hello. Are you going to tell me, or are you going to make me guess? I don't know what you're talking about. Father. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Look, I can't be bothered now, son. It's I... Sid Dickerson. Okay, I'll take this. Excuse me. Not important. Um, can I get you something while you're no, waiting? Thank you, Lucy. Are you sure? I mean, no, I like the lunch. just better. I'm oh, fine, thank you. Lemonade? Maybe just Lucy, a... Please, please. Sorry. Where are you? I'm on this dock, Alan. I wasn't sure if I should come on board or not. No, you shouldn't. Did you do what I asked you to do? <sighs> yes, but I want to know why, Alan. I need to know why. So, can you please come out here and meet me? Yes. Thank you. Sid, that uh, money is earmarked for a very large investigating force. I want Brent Lawrence found, and I want him found within 24 hours. Why? Because he's been threatening my son and the woman that I love. I don't want them hurt anymore. Fine. I'll meet you there. Thank you for doing this for Thank me when I find Brent Lawrence. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to uh, transfer a very large Ooh. sum of money with Sid. Um, Tansy, will I see you at the house? Yes, of course. Good. I'll keep in touch. Be careful. <clears throat> Uh, actually, you know, I really need to uh, get to the journal. So I'll see you later. Take care. Bye, Ellen Bye. Michael. Oh. Did you just see that? Oh, I see what? The way the two of them were acting. There was so much tension there, you could cut it with a knife. Yeah, well, Lucy, everybody's tense tonight. Yeah, I know, but that was different. I don't know. I, something is weird going on there. What are you talking about? I don't know. She just looked suspicious of your father. Well, Lucy, Tangie loves my father. Yeah, she loves him, but she doesn't trust him. We can't stay here. We gotta go. We gotta go. Friend, gotta friend, friend, you gotta no, take it easy no, no. now. You told Alan Spaulding where we are, now we don't have a chance. No, Brent, you're wrong. He's gonna help us. He doesn't help anybody but himself. Brent, Nobody understands. Brent, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen to me. I'm here, and I'm going to take care of you, okay? You just come back. Lie down, okay? You're going to be all right. He's worse than his son, you know. He's worse than Alan Michael. I'm not going to let anybody hurt you. These boys think they own the world. They think they can use you up and spit you out. It's not going to happen to me. Not me. Shh. you got to rest. you got to get stronger. Uh, there's no time. Get me, and he's gonna get me if I don't stop him. If I don't figure out a way to get to him first. What kind of games are you playing? I'm not playing any games, Alan. Then where's the money? It's safe. That's Baldy. The plan was you were supposed to bring the money with you. Before I start carrying that kind of cash around in a briefcase, I need to know where it's going. That's not your concern. Oh, I'm making it my concern. Mr. Dickerson, you're paid very handsomely to do what you're told. Anything else is out of line. Do you understand that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. When I start moving around hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash, Shh, Alan... Sh did you hear that? No. I thought I heard someone. Listen, why are you so edgy? Hmm? Who are you afraid of, Alan? I'm not afraid of anyone. Remember that. Mr. Uh, Dickerson, listen, why don't you come with me to my office and I'm sure I'll be able to satisfy your curiosity? Yeah, well, you better. Yes, it's much cooler there. We'll be able to think more clearly. Uh, come along.
want some iced tea? I want to have a fight. I don't. I'm dying here, Ross. Well, take a cold shower, honey. No, I'm not talking about the heat. I'm dying because you will not talk to me. Blake. Having a sale in in-ground pool. Damn it, Russ! Talk to me! I don't care what you do. Sing to me, make hand gestures, but communicate to me. Don't push it. Say it. You're angry at me for walking out on my mother's wedding and going after my father. It was not your finest hour. You're also angry at me because of Dinah. I know how you feel about my daughter, and I don't care to hear it yet again. I want to know how you feel about me. Oh, no, you don't. I'm paranoid, right? I'm jealous, I'm unreasonable, I'm way off base. Isn't that Stop it? Stop it! You feel? Like living with a 12-year-old. A cruel, vindictive 12-year-old. I warned you not to get into this tonight. When have I been cruel and vindictive? When you persist in saying that my daughter had something to do with her own kidnapping in order to get money out of her family. I believe it. How could you? She was terrified, abused. The man could have killed her. That's what it looked like, I know. Look, Matt Reardon confirmed it. You, you may have been suspicious at first, and you could have had reason to be, but once Matt corroborated her story, how could you doubt her? So you tell me, how am I supposed to feel when my own wife refuses to stop persecuting my little girl? She's not a little girl, Ross. She's a grown woman, and she's lied and robbed and cheated her way through life. Stop it! No more! Who are you, Blake? What the hell happened to the woman I married? Oh, you are just like Blake. You're so suspicious that you can't even see that I've changed, but I have. You'll see. You'll forgive me if I don't hold my breath, Dinah. For example, I did my chores around here. If you haven't noticed, I even did the dishes. You want credit for that? Yes, I do. I think I deserve credit because this whole concept of chores is very alien to me, but I applied myself and I rather enjoyed it. I feel like I'm part of a little community here. <laughs> Don't laugh. I mean it. I have changed and I owe it all to you. What do you mean by that? Well, you hadn't blackmailed me after the kidnapping. I never would have tried to change, but you said be nice or else, and I did, and now I'm happy. I'm really happy. Really. I hate it when you do that. Do what? You shoot me this deep, serious look, and I don't know what you're thinking. Well, I was just wondering what it's like to be on all the time, where every minute of every day is a performance. I am not performing. I'm being honest with you. No, you're telling me what you think I want to hear, so I'll get off your back. You know, I don't need this. You know, then I'm wondering, have you ever had a sincere, honest emotion in your life? Yes. For your information, I'm having a sincere, honest emotion right now. I sincerely loathe your smug, self-righteous, holier-than-everybody attitude. It makes me sick. So do you. You say the money is in the safe? Look, I'm still waiting to hear what it's for, Alan. Operational expenses, That Sid. could be anything. Look, I'll call you when I need you. You know, you must want me to quit. Is that it? Of course not. Where did that come from? Listen, you told me that you hired me because you needed somebody who could take bold action. You know, be strong and smart and tough as the situation demands, even going outside the rules for the right reason. But you have to tell me the reasons, Alan. That's your part of the deal. Said I can't always disclose my intentions. You must realize that. It doesn't work for me. What's the money for? Uh, Alan? 
Is that you? Daisy, what are you doing here? What? Are you following me? No, no, I wasn't following you. I was, uh... I was following a hunch. Well, do you mind letting me in on it? Well, when you left the yacht, I had a feeling that you weren't telling me everything. Did you think I was lying to no, you? No, no, not at all. I, um, I just thought that perhaps you had a lead on Brent. Well, as usual, your uh, hunch was right. I do have a lead on Brent, and I'm going to follow up on it, even though it probably won't lead to anything. But I have to do it for Alan Michael, Lucy, and for you. Let me go with you. No. I have to do it alone. Oh, wait, do you know where he's hiding, Alan? Not at the moment, but the contents in that briefcase will help me locate him. Is that an acceptable reason, Mr. Dickerson? Yes. Well, good. If you don't mind getting the briefcase for me, Counselor. I'll go get it. Look, Larm, Tangy, I don't uh, think you should worry about me apprehending Brent alone. If I need any help, I'll call for it. And I hope I've uh, answered all your questions. Actually, no. I have one more. And it's very important. Where is he? You're supposed to be here by now, Mr. Spaulding. I told you. He screwed us, just like I said he would. You're burning up. We're going to be fine. Yeah, you are going to be fine. OK? OK, now you just lie here still. And don't move. And I'm going to be right back. No, no, don't leave. Don't leave me. Brent, Brent, I have to. Oh, where are you going? Worse. Where are you going? Shh. Don't leave me alone, please. I know. I just have to, OK? OK? We can't waste any more time waiting for Alan Spaulding. You need a doctor. I know. No, no. No doctors. No, Brent. Brent, you have to. I can I can trust him. A good friend of mine told me about him, and you need help. No, it's too late anyway. It doesn't matter. No, Brent, stop it. Stop talking like that, OK? You're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna get the doctor, and then we'll figure out a new plan. Okay. I got a plan, all right. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So that's what you think about me, huh? I'm a self-righteous pig. Well, aren't you? No one's ever good enough for you. You're always so uptight and judgmental. Just ask Bridget. You're always telling her what to do with her life, and you're always telling me what to do with mine. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe this is a problem for me. What should I do about it? Loosen up. Get a life. That's pretty good advice, Diane. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do need to loosen up a little bit. Will you help me? Of course I will. Good. <gasps> okay, now that we've planned my whole life and got all my problems worked out, let's talk about yours. Let's talk about yours, Dinah. The whole world owes you a living, and if you don't get it on a silver platter, then you think that justifies lying and stealing. Well, I'm here to tell you, get a life, Dinah. You don't need it. Stop it! You're intelligent. You're smart. You're pretty. I'm good pretty. in bed. Well, I'm, I'm sure you are. And what are you going to do about that? We're going to be a family, Dinah. What do you say we call off the war? The thought? Make peace, bury the hatchet. I might consider a temporary truce. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I don't know what happened to the woman you married. Maybe she's feeling like some nasty stepmother in a fairy tale. Old, wrinkled, and unloved. Do you think of that I want it to be like this, Ross? I don't know. I don't know what you want anymore. Well, until you face the fact that Dinah has some serious problems. Don't we all? As her father, I know that my daughter has done some things wrong, may, some things illegal, too, but she is not cruel, and she loves her family. Oh, really? Given half a chance, she'd even love you, but you won't give her that chance because you have this ugly competitive streak. 
Okay, fine. I'm a horrible person, and I won't go to heaven, but I oh, Your sarcasm is juvenile. All right. I'm juvenile, then, but I... I'm a woman, and I'm in love with you, Ross. And I'm not going to let your daughter break your heart over and over again. Ross, I'm not saying this right, okay? The deal is, Dinah has a chance. She could be a human being again. She really could, but you have to make her. What does that mean? It means that you have to be hard on her. You can't let her get away with these stunts, like kidnapping, her own kidnapping. How many times do I have to say this? She had nothing to do with the kidnapping. She had everything to do with That's it. That's not what Matt Reardon says. Matt Reardon wears pants, which disqualifies him from thinking clearly about Dinah Marler. Good. You're juvenile and sexist. I'm going to bed. Oh. I'll be in the guest room. No, 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 no. You cannot do this to us. Take the other fan. It's going to be a hot one tonight. Maybe I planned it that way. Yeah, right. It's a hot night. The water feels good. So what do you say? Do we make peace for real? Yeah. I don't trust you. You don't trust me? No, I don't trust you. You know, you are blackmailing me. If you tell anyone about my deal with Victor, I will be on the next train to nowhere. So my question to you is, are you going to tell anyone that I plan to make money on this kidnapping? Huh? Answer me, would you? You know, Dinah, right. I really don't get off on blackmailing people. But in your case, I made an exception. You're out to get me. That is not true. Sorry. Come on, admit it. That's the last thing you want is to see your mother and I walk down the aisle together. Just tell the truth. Okay, okay. Fine. I think that you're both making a huge mistake. I think this engagement is completely absurd, totally ridiculous, and I've come up with about a hundred ways in my mind to break you up. I actually even considered seducing you. Sacrificing myself to save my mother from this terrible marriage, if you can believe that. Oh, I, I, I can believe it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter anyway. Because you both love each other and you're going to go through with it. And there's absolutely nothing I could possibly do to lure you away. Is there? Not in a million years. So, I give up. You have my blessing, get married, be fruitful, and multiply, and whatever. You're not going to cause trouble. I have better things to do with my life. Honestly, Matt, I'm not going to stand in your way anymore. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. You're all wet. <sighs> no kidding. Well, this wet look is all the rage in Paris, you know. Come on, let's get a towel. I can uh, fix this, by the way. Uh, you better. But you know, you still haven't answered my question. Are you going to tell anyone about this kidnapping stuff? I don't see any reason to do that now. You promise? And I will just sleep a lot better knowing that this is all behind me, Matt. 
secret safe with me. So, Lucy, you don't trust my father, do you? It's a funny question to it's ask. It's not meant to be funny. I mean, it's meant to be serious. My father's not the kind of man that you can trust, right? Well, um, personally, I've never really felt like I could trust him. I'm sorry about that. You just asked me, and that's what I thought. I would have said the very same thing, Lucy. I don't trust my father either. I mean, I want to. Every time he says to me, I'm, I'm behind you, son, I want like mad to believe him. I keep thinking he's changed this time. This time he's for real. I start to trust. And he burns me every time. I think he really loves you. Yeah, he's got a funny way of showing it. Do you think he doctored the books? Hmm? Do you? You think he was the one who's uh, responsible for trying to remove me as head of Spalding? I don't know. You must have some sort of opinion, Lucy. I mean, you were the one who was right there. You knew about all the phony numbers. I Do you think, think my father is responsible for all of this mess? I think that your father is completely with you. I don't follow. What do you mean? Oh, Michael, I think that he wants you to do well. Just not too well. And I think that he wants you to win, just not if it means that he's going to lose. Does do that to you? No, oh, but come on, you can't compare the two. I'm his daughter. Dads don't compete with their daughters. My problem is that he doesn't want to ever let me go, and he doesn't think that any man is ever going to be good enough for me. Yeah, well, right. I'm not so sure about that. Look, I'm Michael, I think that your father really loves you. He just can't let you take over. He doctored the books. You believe it? I have no proof. But yes, I believe that. Lucy, just, you need to stay away from me, just as far away as you possibly can. Who's helping Brent Allen? I told you, Tanji, his sister. But you have a lead now that should be telling you something. Yes, but it's not hard information. It's only hearsay, that's all. Has someone seen him? Not that I'm aware of. Have you seen him? Here it is. How can you ask that? It's a simple question. Listen, Alan, do you want me to just go along with you? I... Do you think I would be standing here if I'd seen Brent Lawrence? No, I would have him by the neck at the edge of Cutter's desk, and I would not let go until he was safely deposited into jail. Listen, Alan, I just want to... Sid, you've been a great help. I can take over from here. Are you sure that you just don't want me to go along? Look, everything is under control. I'll call you when I need your services. Do you understand? Yes. I'm afraid so. You have a good night, Tangie. You too, Sid. Do you always talk to your lawyers that way? It's the heat. I'm uh, very irritable. Tangie, if uh, you will excuse me, I have to go. It's in the briefcase, Alan. I told you, money. You're carrying around a briefcase full of money? I told you. 
We have a very large sum of money to transfer for the private investigators trying to find Brent. Now, look, Tangie, all of this is going to become very clear tomorrow morning. Yeah, maybe so. You know, if I'm meaning to ask you, do you have a tailor? Tailor? Why? You're gonna need a tailor. You have a button missing on the sleeve of your jacket. Well, so, so I do. You're very observant. Do you have the button? No, I don't. I mean, I just noticed it was missing, Tanty. Maybe I can help you. Honey, what? Nice, Rose. Drive her out of the house. Her six-month wedding anniversary gift. She loved it. Back then, I knew what she wanted. Shivering. Better get out of those clothes. Really? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Good night, Dinah. Go to bed. Good night. Are you out of your mind? Well, hello to you too, Blake. I guess Dinah added another notch to her chastity bell day. Oh, come on. Five minutes ago, we were ready to kill each other. Yeah, three minutes ago, you were telling off her new by a little body. Aren't you supposed to be engaged to her mother? Now, you're the one that's out of your mind, Blake. Come on. You're smarter than that, Matt. You've seen her in operation before. Nothing happened between Dinah and me, and nothing ever will, OK? You want to tell me what this is all about? Ross and I are in trouble. Come on, you guys are the happiest couple I know. No, that was B.D. before Donna. Look, I know she's caused a lot of troubles for you guys, but you got through it, you'll get through this. Maybe not. See, I based everything on one true statement. Dinah was out to make money on her own kidnapping. I know it's true. You know it's true. Ross doesn't believe it, though, which means he thinks that I am lying, which means he thinks I am out to destroy his daughter, which means we're not talking, we're not even sleeping together, all because I'm telling the truth. Sorry about that, Blake. You are responsible, man. Oh, come on, you can't uh, hold... Listen to me, just... I understand why you didn't tell the police about Dinah's little connection with Victor, okay? You were trying to protect Vanessa. But I only spoke up because I was positive you were gonna back me up. And when you didn't, you kind of left me flying in the breeze, looking like a mean, vindictive woman. Tell the truth. That's not so easy. Sure it is. You just open your mouth. It's a can of worms that I promised I wouldn't open. Who did you promise that to? Dinah. And myself. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just gonna give you the facts. If you don't tell the truth, it's soon. My marriage will be over. You've had it all along, huh? I didn't know who this belonged to. But now that I have a closer look, it's a perfect match. Did you did you find it here? No, I, I didn't find it here. Well, Alan Michael's yacht? No, I didn't find it there either. Where did you find it, Tangie? I found it when I went with the police to take Brent Lawrence into custody. 
I found it on the floor of his room. Matt, are you still up? I think it's cooled off a bit. Uh, you know, this heat reminds me of summers in Nice. The days were just sweltering, and then at night a breeze would come in off of the Mediterranean and just cool everything off, and we'd sit at a little cafe and sip wine. <laughs> we should all go there someday. I'll take you to my favorite cafe, the most beautiful place. It's a gem. Nobody knows it's even there. But for now, Springfield will have to be our little piece of the Riviera. Sounds lovely. But I think after tonight, you might be traveling alone. Honey? Matt, what are you doing here at this hour? I figured you'd be up. Yeah, with a heat wave, I can't sleep. Yeah. I saw Blake. And what did Blake have to say? Well, she's upset. Could I come in? Yes. Thanks. I hate being in this position. I, I normally don't stick my nose in other people's business, but I think I can help. If you promise me what I'm going to tell you, won't leave this room. All right, what do you have to say? Uh, it's about Dinah. It's a few things I think you should know. Matt, if you're running interference for Blake, then yes, you're right. You shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. I feel like that I'm to blame for part of the problems you guys are having, and I think I should see it through. OK, what is it you have to tell me? The truth, if you're ready to hear it. So what do you say, Ellen? How did this button end up on the floor of Brent's room? <laughs> Tangy, there must be millions of those kind of buttons. I mean, you're blowing this thing totally out of proportion. No, I don't think so. I think that you have been lying to me since the beginning. Tangy, I haven't been you lying You were even to lying to me when you were making love to me. That is not true. You I love you. You have been manipulating me. You have been using me. That is not true. Don't lie to me. Tell the truth for once in your life, Alan Spaulding. When everybody else was looking for Brent Lawrence, you knew exactly where he was, didn't you? Didn't you? Lucy, no. just no, no, stay No, I will not Lucy. stay away from you because you're not like your father. How can you be so sure? Because you're good, you're dependable, you're trustworthy, and you don't tell lies. Lucy, I have lied. I have manipulated people just yeah, like he you, does. but you're not lying anymore, and you've never lied to me. No, not to you. Never to you. I'm proud to be with you. Michael, you are a good man. You're, you're, you're strong. You're wonderful. I don't deserve it. I'm glad you're here. by Clara Studio for Asymmetry. Glove Collection by Finale.